In this video, I'm going to go through some examples of integrating that will result in inverse trig. So we've got two indefinite integrals and then two definite integrals at the end. Okay, so let's go with number one. We've got the integral of 9 over 5 plus 3x squared. Now, we can see there's no square root sign, so we know it's going to be of the form with arc tan. But the problem is that we've got 3x squared, and that's got 1x squared. So I need to factor the 3 out of the denominator. So we'll have the integral of 9 over 3 lots of 5 thirds plus x squared dx. Now, of course, I've got 9 over 3, which is just 3. And I can factor the 3 out of the integral. I don't have to, but it's easier then to see what we're going to do next. So now we can see that the a squared is the 5 thirds, so a is going to be the square root of 5 over 3. So we're going to have 3 times by 1 over a, so 1 over the square root of 5 thirds, arc tan of x over the square root of 5 thirds, plus your constant c. So, I want to make sure that this is nice, uh, and I want to rationalise the denominator as well. So the square root of 5 thirds is root 15 over 3. 1 over that is root 15 over 5. Times that by 3. So 3 root 15 over 5. Arc tan of, um, and this will be root 15 over 5. Times x plus your constant c. And so that's the nicest form that we can get our answer into. Okay, so that's the first one. Right, number two. So we've got the integral of 10 over the square root of 2 take away x squared over 25 dx. So because of the square root sign, we can see that it's going to be of the form arc sign. Uh, it's not in the correct form yet because we've got the minus x squared over 25 and we want minus x squared. So I'm going to factor 1 over 25 out of the two terms inside the square root sign first. So the integral of 10 over the square root of 1 over 25 times, and we're going to need 50 in here because 1 over 25 times 50 makes the 2, take away x squared uh, dx. So we've got the square root of 1 over 25, which is 1 fifth. 10 divided by 1 fifth is 50. Pull the 50 outside of the integral sign, so I'm doing a few steps in 1 there. 1 over the square root of 50 take away x squared dx. So this is now in the correct form where a is the square root of 50. So we'll have 50 times arc sine of x over root 50 plus your constant c and 1 over root 50 is root 2 over 10 so 50 arc sine root 2 over 10 x plus your constant c okay so that's the nicest form we can get our answer into Right, number three. So we've got the integral of 2 over 4 plus 9x squared between 0 and 2 root 3 over 3. OK, so this is clearly going to be of the form of arc tan, but we need to get rid of this 9 in front of the x squared. So we're going to factor 9 out of the uh, denominator first. So we've got the integral between 0 and 2 root 3 over 3 of 2 over 9 lots of 4 ninths plus x squared dx. So I've got 2 ninths. I'm going to factor that outside of the integral. 2 ninths of the integral between 0 and 2 root 3 of, over 3 of 1 over 4 ninths plus x squared dx. So this is now in the correct form. A here is uh, 2 thirds, the square root of 4 ninths. So we'll have 2 ninths times by 
So we've got 1 over a, so 1 over 2 thirds is 3 halves. Arctan of, again, x over 2 thirds, so 3 halves x. Evaluated between 0 and 2 root 3 over 3. So 2 ninths times, right, we've got 3 halves times arctan, 3 halves of root x. So the 3 halves knocks out the 2 thirds, so I'm just going to be left with arctan of root 3, which is pi over 3. And then substituting in 0, arctan of 0 is 0, so just taking away 0. So now we've got, um, well, the 3, 3's knock out there, the 2's knock out, so we get pi over 9. So pi over 9 is our answer. And we just want to do a quick check on our calculator using the integral button. 2 over 4 plus 9x squared. You always want to check this. Uh, between 0 and 2 root 3 over 3. And we get the pi of a 9, or 1 ninth pi. OK, so that's all good. OK. Right, that's number 3. So number 4, uh, we have the integral between 0 and root 5 of, over 2 of 500 over the square root of 20 take, a, take away 4x squared. Right. OK, so we can see that it's going to be the form of arc sine. We've got the square root in there. Um, so the first thing I want to do is factor the 4 outside of, well, out of the two terms within the square root sign. So we'll have the integral between 0 and root 5 over 2 of 500 over the square root of 4 lots of 5 take away x squared dx. So the square root of 4 is 2, 500 over 2 is 250. I'll pull that outside of the integral sign. So 250 times the integral between 0 and root 5 over 2 of 1 over 5 take away x squared square rooted dx. So you can now see it's of that form where a is going to be root 5. So 250 times by arc sine of x over root 5, which is the same thing as root 5 over 5, x, rationalising the denominator, uh, integrated between 0 and root 5 over 2. OK, so we've got arc sine of root 5 over 5 times root 5 over 2. Now, the root 5 times root 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So it's just going to be arc sine of a half, which is pi over 6. OK. And then substituting in 0, arc sine of 0 is just 0. So we get 250 times pi over 6, which is 125 pi over 3. OK. So, let's just double check this on our calculator. So the integral of 500 over the square root of 20 take away 4x squared evaluated between 0 and root 5 over 2. And we get the 125 thirds pi. OK, so that's all good. So that's how we can deal with both indefinite and definite integrals. Don't forget... You've got these given to you in the exam, so make sure you use them.